Welcome back. This is your pal Hobson Scotch with Natural Tours Keepers Canada. We are tucking in our boy Scooter into his hibernation chamber for this coming winter month. Or I'm going to try and do six weeks in here. He's done like, uh, I really want to empty out his upper stomach. So I spent like a full four weeks between outdoors and indoors and, and feeling out the timeline and nature and... Oh, we transitioned from dry to this is his, he, he's got this the most activity I've seen out of him in days. But I've taken him from room temperature with a pail through minus 10 or minus 15. We're in the garage here. It is like a 10 Celsius ambient temperature. I'm going to leave him like this for a week before I do a, do a like final tuck in where I'll keep the garage at more of like a, three to seven celsius and i'll kind of do a maybe just a slight warm up for the dog to like 10 12 13 celsius uh just in here to get the the air temperature up and then back down uh for the few hours that the dog is in here during the day uh, i have a lid for this i'll just slide this and it latches into place so the dog can't get into this get off of this it uh even pushed upon nor does the dog have really any interest or any intentions with any of this sort of stuff she's more concerned of when the heck am i going to be home man but uh a few things going into this pre-hibernation process was a worm count at the vents vets you send in a stool sample it's like 30 dollars um as well as just checking out their stool sometimes worms can be seen they in most cases can't so just please send in a stool sample to your vets get that checked especially if you've had a tourist that has been eating sugary fruits if you have a mediterranean tourist please do not be feeding them fruits herman's horsefield greek egyptian uh aka russian uh if the horsefield has mentioned before also the uh the name escapes me for one second here. There's there's plenty of Mediterranean tortoises, so please just don't feed them fruit. But uh, here he is. This is a feisty tortoise. I used this box as a quarantine chamber upon first purchasing him, as it was a bit of a spur of the moment kind of setup. I hung lights from it because he had never had tubular UVB. And this is, believe it or not, double the size of the setup that he came from. He's grown a little bit since then, maybe 100 grams since purchase last year. Maybe a little bit less then. But uh, he's, uh, how do I say, a very, very tough, determined tourist. I'm going to miss having him in the house even because uh, he's just such a highlight. He's probably the most social Hermans we have. He enjoys a head pat. He enjoys a scratch. So I'm very excited to uh, hibernate him. And just for him, the gals to have a little alone time without him. He's such a pestering devil. We love him, but my goodness. Besides like a overall check, you want to check your tortoise's eyes. You don't want to be putting a tortoise uh, into hibernation or brumation, I should say better. Uh, hibernation is a lack of better term. So brumation, I should be saying thank you. But you should not be putting your tortoise into brumation if you haven't had it for a year. If it's a hatchling, if it's been sick, if it's been injured, if it's been ill, if uh, you haven't done a worm count, get a worm count done. It's so cheap for a peace of mind. Uh, a few other things, you should do a proper wind down. You should wind it down slowly and naturally. I can't believe the energy that this character still has in this phase of the game. I thought he would be far more lethargic, uh, gauging by how he was outdoors when the UVB was, or UV was lacking, uh, the natural UV. Um... You shouldn't hibernate a tortoise that like is just laid eggs. You think he's about to lay eggs or brooming. I keep saying hibernate. I'm sorry about that, folks. But there's that's just a few things that I think you should cover on. Uh, you should definitely be focused on winding uh, on the wind down of emptying out their upper stomach tract so that they don't get sepsis, don't get um, like an infection. Essentially, uh, I pro I'm going to provide water this entire time and space to move about to have some form of movement i'm going to be leaving this lid off uh for today and it can just have some like a little bit of the light from outside and that will be more of scooter's uh 
just natural reception, but he does not seem to be slowing down. This is like, I can't believe this, 10 Celsius in here. I'm in a t-shirt, so I'm comfortable as a Canadian, but Scooter still has a little bit of a whistle. I call that the dust whistle. He doesn't have a respiratory infection. It just, that's from being kept too dry, in my opinion. That's from your torque being kept too dry, too small of an environment where its urine and waste uh, is affecting its breathing. So please give your tortoise space for the love of goodness, my, oh, can't, uh, can't say that enough. So I think at this point, I'll stop my ramble. Uh, if you'd like to follow more along about the wind down procedure, please just check out my other videos. This is your pal Hobson Scotch signing off with Natural Tortoise Keepers Canada. Please subscribe.